going to go through the procedures that I use to bed a barrel action into a, a stock, just conventional glass bedding. I put grease on these action screws. These are basically used to line the barrel action into the stock, keep things straight. I use Brownells Acre Release spray to spray on the barrel action. Using Brownells Acre Glass Gel here in this instance. This is mixed equal parts. That's a hardener. and a resin that you use mixing this epoxy equally as close as you can guess it here this is a brown walnut stock so I'll use some brown dye here to color my acro glass gel Mixing it up here in a container. Make sure that you mix this thoroughly. Pretty much when everything looks all brown, it's probably really well mixed. You can mix a little bit more. This is the trigger guard. Spray a little bit. This trigger guard. So we're going to bed some of that. Important that you also that you bed the trigger guard to get an even fit, just as well as it's important to have the barrel action have an even fit. Everything must must fit evenly. Nothing should be rocking around or un, be uneven. that in there. I keep Q-tips handy. So I just push that in there. Put some of that ooze, oozed out. I run this through these holes. Get that little bit of ooze out of there.
obviously spreading this compound around here. Areas that need to be tended to with this after glass gel. Always bed an inch and a half or so of the barrel channel. This is a very heavy barreled rifle. I'm going to bed about two inches here of the barrel channel. Setting my barrel action down in the down in the stock. Push it down by hand. Things will kind of ooze out. Again, I use a Q-tip to get some of that excess out of there. I'm going to run one of these stock maker screws up in here. here. I'm going to take a moment to moment to do this. tighten these screws down very tight. I just want them to line things up. I don't want to tight because I don't want things bound. instance I didn't check the I did check the back screw hole there to make sure everything lined lined completely up. Now we've got some excess epoxy here. There's a fairly large amount of epoxy. I take that off right here. Just clean it off like that. I'm just going to let this set just like this. I'm not going to do anything else to it. I'm going to let this set.
until this epoxy is fairly stiff and it isn't all gooey. Then I'm going to come back with one of these little spatulas here, and I'm going to clean the I'm going to clean the excess off around the action that's on the stock here. Anyway, what caliber are you working on? This 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 happens to be a Remington 700 action, and I barreled it to 300 H H and H Magnum. This fella wants this as a as a target target rifle. We're stocking this with basically a Winchester Pre 64 Model 70 style marksman target type stock for his particular wants. Where did you get that? It's a 28 inch barrel. This semi inleted semi inleted walnut stock. I ordered this from Richard's Microfit in California. They're very good people to do business with. They always give you what you want. You give them the details of what you want specifically. They'll confirm it. And you're going to have to wait somewhere around three months from Richard's to get one of these type of semi inleted stocks. This was the best aspect for this particular man. So this is this is what we've done, and I'll complete this entire rifle, and I'll mount sights on it because he wants also aperture sights and mount bases for a scope. But mostly he's going to use this rifle with aperture sights. So basically, this is this is this is it to be able to bed this and. This is the procedure that, that I use at some time later when time is available. I'll detail pillar bedding. It's much more involved. This is fairly a simple aspect. Pillar bedding takes a lot more time. There's a lot more aspects involved to be able to do that. But there you have it, folks.